Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Razor Blade 14. This will be the 2022 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your RAM, and your solid state drive. So first thing, power down your computer through the start menu. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have 10 screws along this bottom case. After you take those out, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. It'll scratch your computer less than a metal one will. And we're going to go across the seam and gently pry up the bottom case from the rest of your computer. It's generally best in computers to start out back near one of the two corners. And if you get stuck going in one direction, leave it, go to the other side, and continue in the other direction. Also, be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. Be nice and slow but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. Once you have removed the bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, the Blade 14, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it'll be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts. Now, before touching anything in a computer, it's always best to remove or at least unplug your battery. Computers are safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. Your battery is right down here along the bottom. There are seven screws that need to be removed if you're taking your battery out, and the battery plugs into the motherboard right here. So you have these two other screws right there that need to come off to take this bracket off, and then you'll be able to unplug your battery. As far as storage, we have a single M.2 PCIe port right here. This takes up to Gen 4 solid state drives, up to one terabyte in size. I will have that information below in the description if you're looking for your own replacement, but I will also have a one terabyte replacement option in the description in that link I told you about with all of the replacement parts for this computer. To get your solid state drive up is a single screw right here. When you do, you can take the solid state drive out of that port. Keep in mind this sticker right here, you may see various kinds of warranty void stickers in computers when you're working on them. If they see that this sticker has been disturbed, it can void part or all of your warranty. So just keep that in mind when accessing components and you see these in computers you're working on. Couple small things to mention at the end of this operation. If you are installing a new drive into your computer, you may need to install an operating system onto it afterwards. If you would like help with that, I will have video tutorials below in the description showing you how to install various operating systems onto this computer. Also, if your old drive is bad and you think you've lost the data, uh, with some data recovery options, it's usually possible to recover data even on a bad drive. I will have information about that below in the description as well. As far as the RAM in this computer, it has 16 gigabytes DDR5, uh, going at 4,800 megahertz. However, it's non-upgradable. You can't access it. The RAM is part of the motherboard, uh, so you can't get another RAM option. You can't upgrade it. Kind of one of the downsides of this model. Uh, but that's the end of this video, how to get inside your Razer Blade 14, access your storage and your RAM. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.